In this video, I want to share with you a simple tip to help you lower your stress and inflammation and help you improve your sleep. This video is all about magnesium, what kind to get, how much to take, when to take it, and how to set yourself up for getting the gains that I talked about in the beginning. Magnesium is routinely given to people who are suffering from constipation, people who aren't sleeping well, and people who have muscular tension or muscular cramping. And a lot of people have all three of those. In fact, if you look at elderly populations, generally they have all three of those. And it's so common that we just kind of consider it part of the aging process that those things are going to happen. But that's not necessarily the case. 70% of Americans are clinically deficient in magnesium, and quite a bit of those 30% that aren't clinically deficient are still at suboptimal levels. And what happens over time is, as you're short on magnesium, those things that I mentioned earlier, the constipation, the muscle tension, the sleep, those things build up over time and get worse and worse. And for such a simple thing, for such a simple fix, I routinely see big changes in my clients when they get magnesium. There are a couple ways to get magnesium in your, into your diet. The most obvious way is through food, and I do recommend that you pick magnesium-rich foods. And I'll leave a link to a graphic to help you with that at the end of this video. However, what, we're, what we see is that through our farming practices, we're depleting soils of magnesium, and it's not put into normal fertilizers. We're not putting it back into the soil. So with foods that we pull out now, there's just less magnesium in them than there used to be. Compounding that is the fact that we eat less food than we used to. We eat more processed foods and we eat less foods that are magnesium rich. So you can see how we've become deficient in it. And although you can help that with food, I still recommend a supplement, especially in the early stages to saturate those tissues and really see what magnesium can do for you. It gets a little tricky with supplements because you have to tie magnesium to another chemical. And there are lots of different uh, chemicals that it's tied to on the market that all have different functions. So it can be pretty confusing to choose a magnesium supplement. The most common one is magnesium citrate. And if you were coming to me with only complaining of constipation, I would give you magnesium citrate because it's extremely stool loosening and it will absolutely help with constipation. However, it's harder to get magnesium into you because it's so stool loosening that before we get you up to a medicinal dose, your body's already getting rid of it before it can use it. So for standard use magnesium, we want something where where it's the least stool loosening. All magnesium is going to be a little bit stool loosening, which is, makes it hard to get enough in, but it does make sure that you're never gonna to get too much magnesium. The one that I recommend is magnesium glycinate or magnesium citramate. And since they're stool loosening and since they help with sleep, I'm gonna recommend that you start with one pill and I'm gonna recommend that you take it at bedtime every night. And what'll happen is uh, if it's, when you hit that point of it being stool loosening, that'll happen in the morning where it's relatively convenient. It'll also help with your sleep and it'll also help with your stress. Take one pill a night for a while, three or four days, and you should see no side effects from that. Bump it up to two pills after that and see if it starts to affect your digestion. From there, bump it up to three pills and see if it affects your digestion. It's quite likely that at some point you're gonna hit a level where it's too stool loosening for you and then just back it off and now you've got your dose. If you get up to three pills a day and your body can handle that, that's a good dose. It's not gonna hurt you, you're not taking too much, and you should see the benefits from it. It takes a while for the magnesium to build up in your tissues, so give it two, three, four weeks before you really start seeing the difference. Most people will see a difference within a week or so, if not even sooner. But before you really start to see a difference, give it two or three weeks. So next time you're at the store, pick up some magnesium glycinate and give it a shot. If it works for you, let me know. If it doesn't work for you, let me know. That's good to know too. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Enjoy.